We're going to continue our unit on volume. Today's learning target for this lesson is I can represent a base with unit cubes and determine the number of layers needed to represent a given volume. We're really going to focus on that word base and layers kind of breaking down that rectangular prism, counting how many unit cubes make up the base, and how many layers does it take to create the height of that prism, and how do we use all that to figure out its total volume. As a reminder, we've been using those little unit cubes um, to determine the volume of a, a rectangular prism, and a unit cube represents one cubic unit of volume, okay? And we call it a unit cube because each side is, for, is one unit long, or wide, or tall. So length, width, and height are some pretty important words for this unit, so we wanna make sure that we understand what those mean. Length is how long something is, width is how wide something is, and height is how tall something is. So those words are gonna really come in handy as we progress through our unit. Let's look first at this little example as a review. You've been working on counting cubes to determine a volume, okay? So if I gave you this very simple problem, you see we have three unit cubes here. So three cubes means the volume is three cubic units or three units cubed. Sometimes you'll use that little three there, okay? And that basically is just representing, you know, cubed and the three, that representing a three means we're dealing with a three-dimensional shape, 3D shape, okay? Look at this shape, this rectangular prism. Can you look at that and determine what its base layer may be? Base means bottom, the bottom layer of the shape. How many unit cubes are on the bottom layer? Okay. You've had a second to think. If you guess that the base had four units, then you're correct. But is that the total volume? No, it's not the total volume because the total volume would be both layers. Okay, so if I look here, I have, it looks like I've got one, two, two layers of four cubes. Think about your repeated addition and multiplication facts. If I have two layers of four cubes, okay, four plus four or four times two is eight. Okay, so there's a total of eight unit cubes, which will mean the volume is eight cubic units or eight units cubed, okay? So let's think a little more specifically to our learning target. Those were reviews, okay? So we're gonna look at this one. Our base, all you have is the base right now. This is the base, meaning I'm gonna have more built onto this, okay? It's gonna be taller than it is right now. This is only the bottom layer, okay? My base here is six unit cubes, okay? So our learning target, let's go back to that, says that we um, want to represent a base with unit cubes. Okay, we did that, okay, six unit cubes here. And then we wanna determine the number of layers needed to represent a given volume. Well. What volume do you want to find? Let's see. The volume that we're gonna look at today for this one, 12 cubic units. I want a rectangular prism that has a volume of 12 cubic units. So can you determine how many layers I'm gonna need, okay? How many layers am I gonna need to build upon this to create it to be 12 cubic units, okay? If one layer is six, Let's see what a second layer does. Okay, and I'm gonna take my unit cubes. I'm actually gonna build it on top here. These things can get kind of hard to manipulate, so you just kind of have to be patient and go slow. It's kind of like when you're playing with Legos and sister or brother comes up and knocks everything down. You have to be careful. Okay, now I have two layers of six unit cubes. So two layers of six, is six plus six 12? It is. So the total volume here is 12 cubic units, which was what I wanted. I wanted 12 cubic units to be my volume. Two layers of six unit cubes makes 12 cubic units. Okay. All right, let's look at this next problem. So I have the base layer here for you, if you can see there. See if you can count up how many unit cubes make up that base layer. If you said eight, you are correct. Our base layer is made out of eight unit cubes. Now, the total volume that I want us to get this rectangular prism to is 16 cubic units, 16 cubic units. So the base layer is already eight, all right? Think about what you know about your eights. Okay, and I wanna get it to 16. Well, I know in my mind something about eight and 16. 
I know that 8 plus 8 is 16, which also matches 8 times 2, which is 16. So I bet if I make this two layers high total, okay, that it might equal the volume that I need. Okay, remember that the base layer counts as the first layer. So that's already one layer that you have, okay? So let's very carefully stack and create a second layer. And if you're not sure, you can always just play around and see, well, let me build this second layer. Does it equal what I need it to equal or do I need more? Okay, it's a little rough looking. These things are hard to work with, okay? But now I see I have two layers two layers of eight unit cubes. Eight times two is 16. I can use my knowledge of arrays. It's four long and two wide there on the bottom. The base is four long and two wide. That makes eight on the bottom. I have another eight on top. So my total volume here is 16 cubic units. So we were able to determine the number of layers needed to represent that given volume. Now let's switch over and let's look at a special little problem. Now this one is a little crazy here. Now look right here. Let's make him a little bit neater. These little blocks have my mind of their own sometimes. So it looks like I've got a base layer that started and incomplete. Okay, so we gotta figure out what the base layer is before we can determine that volume. All right, so if I look at this base layer, I notice the length and the width, okay? I notice that it's three long or three wide, okay? Three long, three wide, okay? So I wanna complete that. I wanna complete that array of three long and three wide. So it looks like I'm missing some right here on this outer edge. So I bet if I fill those in, we can complete the base layer. Here we go. All right, so now the base layer is finished. Base layer is the bottom layer. How many are in that base layer? Right, nine, three, six, nine. There are nine unit cubes on the bottom base layer of this rectangular prism. Based on the way it's built right here, can you tell me how many layers tall it's gonna need to be? If you said three, you are correct. The base layer was nine cubic units, and how many layers tall? It is going to be three layers tall. I know that because here on the side, I have one, two, three. Remember that base layer always is counted in as the first layer of your rectangular prism. So it looks like it's gonna be three layers tall. Without me having to pick up all these little cubes, can we use our math knowledge to kind of figure out how many total unit cubes are gonna make up this rectangular prism? If one layer has nine and we gotta have three layers, we can do two different things. We can do repeated addition or we can do some multiplication. Nine plus nine plus nine, 27. So if we have three layers of nine unit cubes each, the total volume would be 27 cubic units. And I could sit here and fill these all in. I could take my unit cubes, and I could stack this up layer by layer. I could build the second layer. And once you get the second layer done, you could build the third layer, okay? And all those things until it's completely perfectly this rectangular prism that meets our description, okay? But based off what we knew, okay, like if you had a picture that looked like this on your paper, you could figure it out, even if the blocks weren't there for you to add on, because you have the information you need. You have the base, the number of units on the base, okay? And we did that after we filled a couple in, remember? All right, and then you have how many layers tall it is. So you can use your repeated addition or your multiplication to help you out. So now you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher. And let's close with our learning target. We worked on representing a base with unit cubes and determining the number of, of layers needed to represent a given volume.